What's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who I'm back, back, back with another video. I think I've come kicking it with your boy Q today. Guys, I got a video for y'all. Uh, one of y'all requested, and basically that video was, what are some of the features that the Camaro 2SS 1LE, which is what I'm in, what kind of features does it, does it have? So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of the features that this car have that I think are pretty neat, pretty neat, honestly. Before we start the video, guys, I guess I can show y'all the car. This is what we're looking at. So it's a 2020 Camaro 2SS 1LE. Give y'all a quick walk around. The lights will be on, but I'm in neutral right now. I do have 45% windshield tint on here and 5% on the sides. Yeah, great looking car. And this color on it is amazing for sure. Woo, look at that. Show y'all the back. Has new tail lights. Have quad tips on there, as y'all can see. I have been sitting for a minute, so don't mind the water. Yeah, so go ahead, climb inside show y'all some of the features of this thing my car is a six-speed manual transmission car so you're probably wondering q what the heck are these freaking pedal shifters doing if this is a manual car you only find these on automatic this car does have rev matching feature guys and basically what that is so when i'm downshifting instead of for me having to do what we call heel toe where you rev the engine and downshift to make sure the shifts are smooth basically this car have rev match that it automatically matches your revs for the gear and speed for you you just have to downshift that's what these two pedals are you can see they say rev match on there they put on both sides but it's the same thing they both turn it on or off you can press either one another feature that i like and this is kind of weird but if you're ever going out to mexico in this particular car there's a section where you can actually just have a blank speedometer so like nothing there just blank we'll tell you i think that's why they did this for the track if you take this off there's actually a heads up display i'm not sure if y'all can see it right there so i think what they did was in order to keep you from looking down here at your speed if you turn it off you have to focus here and actually what this does this allows you to keep your eyes forward on the road guys so you can see what's going on at the track you know you don't you're not looking down you're focused for you can see your rpms there you can see your g's there you can see your gear there everything's literally right here on this little display so i think that's why they did that to kind of train your eyes to look up here as opposed to here i could be wrong but that's just my opinion but i think that's a cool feature now you do have a performance page section in this car go ahead and click it so there you can see your, I believe those are G's, where your G's are, how you're pushing G's, where they, you know, they're forward, back, or left and right, scroll down. You also have a zero to 60, yes. This car has a zero to 60 timer, which is very common in sports cars. But with that, to addition to that, this is a manual car. So this car does have launch control in a manual. There's a way to get to it, I'm gonna show y'all here in a second. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna show y'all how to get there. You have to be in a certain mode. But yes, this car has launch control, so you can time your zero to 60 if you want to. Now here, you have another lap timer setting if you want to. So let's go ahead and start that see what it looks like. There you go. Look at that. It's a whole lap timer in this car, guys. So I press again, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be first lap, you know, so that was second, second. So it's a lap timer, so you can just keep going and see how fast. So it actually shows you down there, you're on lap number two now. I press again, it should be lap number three. So yeah. And it, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. It showed you that you're two seconds slower. So I press again, it's gonna be like, I'm eight second lost. So it shows you if you're actually going faster or slower than your last previous lap. That's pretty, pretty cool, I will say. And you can go look at the lap time. So look at that, lap one was seven seconds. Lap two was 9.6 seconds. Lap three was six seconds. Total of, you know, gives you the total. That is pretty cool feature, man. Again, guys, this car is made for the track. It was designed for the track. So. The fact that you have that right there and it show you your pace, how you're doing, it's pretty neat. You also have, not tire pressure, tire temperature, excuse me. Yes, this car shows you your tire temperature. If it's hot, cold, or normal. So green is normal. I haven't actually seen what they would look like if they were hot or cold. But yeah, so you have a tire temperature on this car. If you know, going to the track, going to Mexico, any type of that, if your tires are not heated up properly, you won't gain traction. So the heat in your tires is very, very important. So if they got you covered. I was about to say Ford. <laughs> I got an F-150. Chevy has you covered. But I do want to show you another option they have. You can actually change the whole layout of your display right here. Currently have the standard theme. So let's go ahead and switch it over to technology. And y'all will see the whole layout changes. There it is. So now your fuel in the top right-hand corner, digital. Your temperatures in the left-hand corner. And then in the middle here, let's get out of everything. Yep, there you go. And as well as a Navi compass to let you know where you're going. So this is the technology setting. I personally prefer the other setting better. I think it just gives me more information in my opinion. Um, the standard does. Yeah, I, 
like I like this better. So we move over here to the infotainment system, guys. It's a great infotainment system. I'll be 100 percent honest with you. It does have CarPlay. Uh, you can access your climate here. You can add different users. Most important thing here is going to be, in my opinion, is the lighting. So if you know this car does have ambient lighting running all the way around, all the way on the doors, literally through the whole car. And you can choose from a plethora of colors, guys. I usually link it to driver mode, but I believe demo mode just randomly changes color like on its own. Yeah, it does. There it does. You see the different colors? So it's white, now it's blue. It's like a pulsing thing going on. I usually link to driver mode. So basically what that is, whatever driver mode I'm in, I'm in sport right now, that's what color is gonna be here. So if I go to track, track mode, it now turns yellow. So as you know, I mentioned this car has launch control. In order to get to launch control, you do have to do a certain special step. So I'm in sport mode right now, and they basically have a thing called competitive mode. And to get into competitive mode, you basically tap your traction control button like at a boom, boom pace, and you'll see the, see the competitive mode come up. One, that's how you do launch control. You have to be in competitive mode. Two, there's different levels of competitive mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap my thing here twice again. Tap, tap. You have to do it, <laughs> you have to do it at the right pace. Tap, tap. There we go. So within competitive mode, you also have what type of competitive mode? Performance track, so there's wet mode, it's dry. There's sport one, sport two, and then there's race. And as I go through those settings, you see it says active handling. So in race mode, basically I think this is all the crooks and nannies. There is no traction control whatsoever gonna be on to help you. Um, if I go to sport two, again, active handling is off. If I get to sport one, it's on. So you will have some traction control, but it's not gonna be a lot. You can see traction control disabled. So it's still giving you a lot of the car. Dry and wet, of course, is gonna be on. And if I go back on, traction control is completely on. So there's a different level of competitiveness in this car. Basically within competitive mode, if you wanna turn traction control off and really get even deeper into everything, it's gonna give you the car is what, giving you the car. It's like, here you go, here are the keys. Trash control is off. You're in race competitive. Active handling is off. I'm giving you the keys to the car. Here you go. You know, you're on your own. Last thing I want to show y'all is I think it's probably the best, coolest feature um, that any car has done. You probably saw this earlier. PDR. PDR stands for Performance Data Recording, I believe. Yep. There it is. It's a built-in dash cam. So basically record and see what's going on you at the track or anything guys it's pretty pretty cool i actually have never set it up because it requires a sd card actually i got one here today it has to be a 32 gigabyte from what i read anything bigger you're gonna have to format it now where do you pop this in actually it's gonna be right over down here i gotta show y'all right down there there's a little slot right there oh let's go ahead and put this in really quick yep it's in there now Oh, look at that, 785 minutes of recording remaining. So let's go to choose video overlay. So there's sport mode, track mode, and performance timing. Also, before we keep going, there's a valet recording mode. So you put your car in valet. Do you want to record the audio as well when you're recording or just the visual? So let's start recording. So it is recording. I'm not sure what it is. Let's actually take a lap and see what happens here. Let's see what we get. I'm just going to drive around the parking lot and let's see what we get. A few moments later. So let's see, view recording. Holy smokes, look at this, guys. So it is recording, I'm not sure where, let's actually take a lap and see what happens here. Let's see what we get. I'm just gonna drive around the parking lot and let's see what we get. The audio is crispy clear. And I'm not sure what this is blocking it right here either. Gotta figure that out. Oh, this is cool. So is my speed, my G's I'm pushing, or your lateral. Look at that, it shows your RPMs what gear I'm in. That was sport, let's go to track now. So with track mode, it has your mile power up here, your gear, it looks like it has, I'm guessing that's braking and acceleration maybe. I'm not sure, you got two lines right here. You got your G's here and your RPM's there. A little different layout from the sport. You got your steering angle, driver mode, and the distance. So there was one more, which was performance timing. So let's see what that one looks like. And also guys, what you can do, you see it says mark finish you can actually mark the finish line. So I believe when you're going around lap, if you mark it, it's gonna automatically remember that and like start a new lap time, something like, which is pretty cool. I believe that's what that feature is for. I could be wrong, but I believe so. So let's go look at what the performance page look like now. So be recording. So on the performance, you'll see it's a little different. So you got the zero to 60 up there, your zero to 100, your uh, quarter mile time, 
You got your mile per hour up there. You got your throttle. Let's see. It. Let's see if this works. Uh, throttle percentage in show. I guess I'm in neutral. Uh, and then you got your RPMs down here. So maybe a little simpler layout uh, as opposed to the other two. But this is pretty cool. You going to Mexico or you're out on the track, guys, you can record your performance and see it. Go back and watch it back. Maybe look at your lines on the track. Anything like that. I think that's pretty cool that this car basically has a built-in dash cam. This is built-in. I don't know if it's an extra option or what. I'm pretty sure you can download this information from the SD card and put it on whatever you want to. Oh, the last thing. I, I mean, I ain't talking about this. It has the, the rear view mirror. It's a camera which is amazing. So if your issue has been with Camaros, always about visibility, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, if I flip this, it sucks. Like, you can't see anything out of that bag. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's not the greatest. But with this here, uh, you can see everything. Night and day difference. Like, so if your issue with visibility with Camaro, guys, is that this helps a lot. Like, it really shows you a lot of what's behind you. If you're wondering where that rear view camera I was just talking about is mounted, there it is, right there. So it's very concealed, looks like a little shark fin on the car. Those are some of the features, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah, that's all I got. It's your boy Q. I'll catch y'all next, baby. Peace.